hello everyone i welcome you all to our channel uh, there is a video regarding an entry in mavi how to create a custom entry so we'll be creating a borderless entry over here so how to create that first of all we need to create a class okay so i'll quickly create a class uh, with the name borderless borderless entry okay so here i have to inherit it through entry class I just remove the constructor it is not required after that what we need to do here in the um, into the CS file of the app dot XAML we need to okay so to create uh, just to uh, let you know uh, that in XAML forms we used to use custom renderer but in Mavi we need to use handler and how to use that so I'll show you here quickly so I won't go in the detail of the handler uh, that is Mavi handler but I'll just show you the use case of that. So I'll I need uh, it is inside a Microsoft. And then it is handlers. And then it is since we will are customizing entry, so it is entry handler. Then it is uh, mapper. Then it is append to mapping. And from here uh, we need to tell that here we need to tell to which class actually we are uh, mapping to. So uh, here we have already created a class called as borderless entry and then here a few of the um, variables handler and a view okay so uh, we are set now um, so this map here uh, we need to do the mapping for android and ios so this, we are targeting two platforms so i'll just define here if my platform is android uh, so basically underscore under android okay else if my platform is ios okay so these are the two platforms i'll be targeting and i'll just close the end if in android so to do the customization i need to take this variable as handler and here i'll get a platform view and to this platform view i need to set the background color android dot graphics um, dot color and i want transparent background okay so this is the changes required for android and for ios is handler dot platform view dot uh, background color and uh, if you remember that the back the color is available inside the UI kit that is UI color and I will give the clear color and uh, in hand also one more thing is required is that uh, platform view is the border the border style to iOS so I don't want any borders of now since I want it is as a borderless so there is ui text border style and which is none okay so uh, this is done um now we just need to go to the main page so i have cleared everything uh, from the previous so this is uh, from the previous main page which is a default main page i've here i'll just add uh, I'll, I'll remove one more thing that is center and i'll just add a top margin over here uh, top bottom margin that is uh, minimum 25 and um, so i'll create a local entry or basically entry borderless entry so uh, to access the entry i need a namespace over here uh, that is local and uh, where it is it is inside a custom entry okay so we can access it here local and borderless entry okay so uh, we'll give a placeholder text as well that is enter email okay so this is my for enter name I'll just say uh, now we'll quickly run this so this is how it is looking on android and ios both so uh, we need now we'll check how to create a bordered entry so we'll use this as my base and i'll add this inside a frame class okay and here in the frame class i'll give the background color or border color basically 
border color as light gray and we'll see how it is showing on android and ios emulator this is how it is looking on android and ios so now can you see here some extra padding is already given to it to the entry so we don't require that and here suppose the we also required minimum uh, padding on the left and right side so we'll do that adjustment now so here in the um, code we have to give a padding so i'll give the padding of 10 10 i want the padding at the left and right side and top and bottom as left so we'll see how it is showing on android and ios both so this is how it is looking right now and ios it is looking good but in android there are more padding than 10 so definitely it is more than uh, 10 padding so we'll remove the padding for android that is vertical padding whereas in for ios we'll keep the padding same let's let's do this change so we are here so in the padding section we have to remove the top and bottom padding for android and how to do that so we have removed here and we'll need to use on platform so we'll be using for android as 10 on the left and right and 0 on the top and bottom whereas in for ios we need padding as 10 on left and right 10 on top and bottom let's see this change on both the emulators now can you see on both the platforms it is looking good so this is what we wanted to achieve now suppose i want only underline in the entry field how to do that well it's very simple let's do that so here in the code we need to do some changes and what are those changes so we have to use a stack layout here and we have to use this as our base that is borderless entry as our base we'll add a box view here with a, with a height of 1 and a color of gray light gray so after adding this we also need to add some padding so for so for android and ios we don't need the left and right padding so we just need only the top and bottom padding so we we'll copy this padding but here we are will be giving a margin not padding so we'll call it as margin and i'll just remove the top sorry the right and left padding okay and we'll see how it is looking on both the platforms so this is how it is looking on both the platforms this is what we wanted to achieve see the entry uh, i mean there is a border below the entry on both the platforms it is looking cool so you can use all this type of entries to customize or so you can so you can use all this kind of entries to that's it from this video we wanted to showcase you how to use the custom entry in the movie thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you